Hey everyone, so I just got um, an update here on the Brian search, the Brian laundry search, and the update is, I guess the FBI are now at the laundry residence. They're in there and they're looking for something, and they had come back out, and they were checking the camper. They weren't in there long though, they just went in quickly and then came out, but I guess they went into the house with a brown bag. So um, there's no update of why they're even there because they don't really tell us much right but here let's watch it hey folks jb buno here with you live again on wfla now we're breaking back into coverage here right as we hopped off stream the fbi entering the laundry home here two agents with the fbi said to be going into the laundry home here we are getting our camera set up here uh to provide you with uh, with a live feed here of the laundry household we do not know why the fbi went in we'll be back here live with an update here momentarily on wfla now This footage is making me dizzy. The laundry's lawyer's phone must be going off the hook. People want answers why they're there. I was thinking, I was wondering, why would they bring a brown bag in to the house? Um, and then they, when they came out, I guess, to go check the camper, they didn't have the brown bag with them. So I'm wondering if maybe they're looking for more DNA, maybe from a hairbrush or a toothbrush or something. They need more DNA for Brian Laundry. <sighs> Who knows at this point, right? Nothing much happening. I'm just going to fast forward a bit. Oh, here they come. The FBI agents. Do they have anything? Looks like she's got something in her hand. Like a little container. <laughs> I see on the truck people are running. Oh, they're at the camper. It's such a heartbreaking case. I mean, I don't understand where is Brian Laundry. If you guys have any ideas, any thoughts on that, let me know in the comment section. Cause I'm just, at this point, I'm just brain dead at this moment thinking, I don't know. I've run through it through my mind thinking of where he is, what he's doing, if he's alive, if he's not. And I just, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Oh, now they're going back in. Let's kind of fast forward, see what else happens. FBI, oh. multiple agents here entering that home here, and they're currently here at the scene with attention being paid here to the camper 
that is still in the driveway here at the Laundry Home in Northport, J.B. Buno. Josh Benson here with you live. Everybody on WFLA Now is live here in the center of your screen. Just want to quickly introduce ourselves, but let's go back here. Live screen, and Josh, uh, this is happening right now here, and we're live across all of our various platforms. Yeah, so we're back out at the Laundry uh, Home. We have obviously a crew out there, been out there for nearly two weeks now, and uh, this was just happening... As you know, in the coverage that we brought to you, not much happens out at this home. Uh, but in the last few minutes, um, in the last 15, uh, FBI showed up at the house. Two agents went into the house, one carrying a paper bag, a brown paper bag. They were in there for a few minutes. They just uh, about two minutes ago came outside. They went to the back of the camper. They took a look at that. From our vantage point you're seeing right here, we couldn't see exactly what they were looking at, whether it was the door or That one FBI agent, the girl, she did, I think she had a container in her hand, so maybe she was grabbing... I don't even know, like a, who knows, carpet sample or something from that camper. It did, did look like she grabbed something. Even looked inside, but they stood there for about a few minutes, and then they went back into the house. So interesting to see some activity there, and especially that interest in the camper and what they could be looking at there. Um, that is the latest right now as we watch what the FBI is doing. That's their black vehicle right there. And when they are at the laundry house, they usually show up in one of those black SUVs. One of the most difficult things about this as far as the FBI uh, being here on scene is that the FBI, their MO, and we were talking about it on our previous stream here uh, this afternoon with Brian Enton of News Nation, the, the FBI's MO isn't really to release information or telegraph exactly to the media what they are doing. So it might be some time. Uh, or might be a considerable amount of time before we know exactly what we're what they're doing here. But what we will do here is continue to follow uh, what our eyes tell us. And again, our eyes tell us, Josh, that they went into the home. Uh, we'll take a closer look here at what they leave the house. For those of you just joining us here, but on WFLA now, uh, they are still in the house at this time. And we'll watch the front door here. But they were, Josh, paying... Our eyes tell us they were paying very close attention to that to that camper. And let's, you know, for people who are just joining us now, let's look back at what has happened in the search for the case. The first search for Brian Laundry, uh, as we've told you, they're back out at the Carlton Reserve. The FBI is. And they have uh, started after a few days of not searching. They're they back there again. Back there, and it's much smaller size, much smaller <laughs> scale search party. But uh, they have been focusing on areas of water and they have been kind of focusing in specific areas so to speak they're not this isn't a broad search uh this is more of a targeted search to find certain details uh, what was interesting in this uh, what's happening right now is this brown paper bag they brought into the house when they came out they didn't have the bag so they have something in there obviously of interest and so uh, we, we got to try to figure out what that is, and, and we're going to keep watching here. Yeah, we'll continue watching here for us, engaging new digital audiences here live on WFLA Now. Again, following breaking news here with Josh Benson. I'm J.B. Buno, and we're here live. Center your screen. This is a live picture here, paying very close attention now to the FBI arriving on the scene. We were live on WFLA Now uh, a short time ago, and literally, just as, as it happens, right as we hopped off stream here, we were talking about how there hadn't been any any new developments, and perhaps there, there's the news <laughs> jinx right there as i said that and as we were hopping off stream the fbi had pulled up here to the driveway and a couple of agents go in here with the brown paper bag that josh was noting here and now they came out for a short time uh they did pay attention of course to the camper and now uh they have gone back inside let's go back here live uh full screen and again uh, like you said i think a lot of people have been watching this coverage and a lot of people expect quick updates. They don't want to see this thing progress. They oh, yeah, I do. This is what can be the frustration of a case like this is it's, it can be drawn we out. We all do. Obviously, it's a very in-depth investigation from the FBI, so things don't happen quickly. And I know for our crew, it's happening right now. Efforts back to that, Carl, will continue. And is our photographer, Justin Rogers, providing us here with this uh, live feed from this is live right say? now as of 1.30. No, no solicitation. We know that some W Play Now live streams will replay at times, but this is live as of September 30th, 1.38 Eastern there. You see the no soliciting uh, sticker there on the front door of the home. F went back in. Sorry, I'm just trying to see when they come out. Visit to the home here. Home here. Interesting uh, a view of that. Oshawa, as we're waiting here, we can look for hashtag hey that, um that have been joining us on our streams and, and got what they needed. Looks like they're getting out of here. Oh, they're out. What's this in it? All right, we're 
watching the FBI. They just <clears throat> exited the laundry house with a cooler bag, and they jumped in their SUV, this Tahoe now. They're going to be leaving the property. Obviously, the media surrounding the vehicle, so it's a little difficult to back out. to be it yeah that's it just like that the fbi on their way got what they needed and they're on their way so let's let's explain now how this works here